Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds.
Maybe later. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I could use a Michael pep talk. something. God, I feel so weak. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me. I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. deal with this right now. This isn't real. He isn't real. Not here. Hmm. 
Not here. Here they are. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. I can't leave without all my application stuff. Pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Stop sulking! Come on, Allison. Don't start. The paperwork's not down there. Ah, here's my ID. Never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. This never happened. It's just brain vomit. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Where's that damn phone? seems to be coming from downstairs.
and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What the? I... No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. Where is it? No phone here. Not here. doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost.
Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, good. Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I, uh... I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but... I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit? Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Do you want to talk about what happened with Tessa at the cemetery? We just asked her some questions. What kind of questions? Tough ones. Let me guess, she did not appreciate that. She reported Marianne to social services. She was trying to get us taken away. Fuck, I'm sorry, Allie. I knew she was nosy, but that's like some supervillain shit. Hey, what's eating at you, Allie? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Mary Ann and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before?
Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot.
Mm. This is not this guy's first ticket. I need to drop this off in Eddie's mail slot. Either. What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? Uh, he's finally getting around to doing the upstairs cameras. Was supposed to do it months ago. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries. I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kind of called in sick, so Tessa's is out. <laughs> Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing really. Just waiting for Dee. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Hmm, dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, who boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> so, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now.
Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air, I need some air.
I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, it's... I, um... Uh, went back to the house and... Got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of, this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand, trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle... It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. Her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. Could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. Now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you too. feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later.
Damn it. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <clears throat> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? <laughs> All right. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul. Out. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not... No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. Started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana.
Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but <laughs> we sure as hell are going there. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Oh, Princess. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn it! What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. It should be in that cupboard over there. Yeah, the gauze should be in that uh, cupboard over there.
find anything? Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for, he ain't me. Okay, guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. You must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. the last time you cracked a window? Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. Come over here. Sit with me. What's all this? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. Thank you. 